Raisins are dope. Hmm. Craisins are dope. Anyways, we'll talk about fruits in a second. Right now, just kidding. Nope. Stalling. Just kidding. We're, we're, we're stalling. We're, st we're stalling for a second. <laughs> we're stalling for a second. Yeah. Very soon we will have a match coming up. Yeah. But okay, All right, here we, we go. go. Real deal. Mew squared versus Zane the Pure. Now, Zane the Pure, I've seen him hanging out a couple times with the, with the likes of folks like Kirby Kid. Mm -hmm. I know he's one of those folks who's probably grinding out some of those uh, attacks of the week. And I know that uh, he plays a pretty solid link. But Mew squared has all of the link practice that he needs, seeing as his twin brother is the very own Hyrule hero. So uh, this could be very, very difficult. I'm looking at this matchup right now, and I see an uphill battle of uphill battles for Zane. Uh, you know, again, Zane, somebody who uh, we we see occasionally on this on uh, this side of the camera, mm -hmm. uh, and he's going up against uh, I guess one of the folks who's definitely made a lot of waves uh, in, in the Smash Four scene as a whole. Yet to really capture more than one shockwave. But still a very, very, very well-respected player. This is it. Game number one. I would love to hear a little bit more game audio if possible. But uh, even if we can't hear, not hear that much audio, the one thing that is so loud is just Mew Squared's play style. I mean, 41%, great control of the stage in the opening seconds. Just fantastic from him. Yeah, a lot of the, the Link gameplay, you know, zoning with the projectile is like kind of controlling space. You know, it does a pretty good job keeping his opponent out, but that does give Mew Squared a lot of time to charge Shadow Ball, set up his spacing for like the dash attack, dash grab stand against. Um, so that could be something that he's going to have to watch out for in this match. If he does not apply pressure over time, that does give Mew Squared the opportunity to charge those Shadow Balls and do lots of damage and kill very, very early. I must say, really impressed with Zane so far actually holding even uh, against the clear favorite in this match. Of course, as these percents continue to climb, I get really worried. Uh, Mew Squared is so proficient, I feel, at, at accessing the couple of kill setups that Mewtwo has outside of the grab. So it just gives Zane so many things to think about, especially as these stocks creep closer and cl closer to those triple digits. Yeah, Zane, though, doing a very good job juggling the bombs, keeping the pressure up, not actually giving Mew Squared time to charge his Shadow Ball. Zane going off deep. He has the bomb, but doesn't even need it. Actually, they're really cool. He rolls onto the stage, has a little bit of vulnerability as the bomb goes off, and gets Mew Squared off of him for a second. But yet again, it's been true since the beginning of this match. Mew Squared doing a good job of maintaining stage control against Zane. Yeah, a lot of the time, despite the fact that the percents are relatively close, uh, a lot of situations like that where Mew Squared is getting Zane off stage, and uh, Zane is managing to slip back on, you know, air dodging at the right time. It's not getting stopped by those forward airs, oh. but all it takes is one for Mew Squared to take the lead. And just look at how quick Mewtwo is just zipping along the stage now. He did receive a couple of buffs in the speed department with this most recent patch, and they're definitely being shown. As you can see, Mew Squared kind of just zipping around. His power shield game, even with the speed changes, is still so good. So good. Yeah, he's definitely got power. He's got speed now. He actually runs at the same speed of Sheik. Uh, he's, and a little bit less fragile, too. That's still, I would say, one of his biggest overall weaknesses. But that power. Oh, man. The world's strongest Pokemon. And just so intimidating, intimidating as well. Zane, he felt the pressure there. He felt like he had to air dodge, and he fell right into Mew Square's trap there, waiting out the air dodge, getting that guaranteed fare right afterwards. Into that stock as well, Mew Squared uh, taking it with a pretty solid two stock. Uh, what what happened with Zane? Because he was keeping up so well with Mew Squared at the beginning, and near the end it just kind of all fell apart. Uh, I feel like a lot of it was um, so the endings of the stock. Mew Squared got a, a better feel for when Zane was trying to air dodge, when he was trying to slip through. Like he got away with that a couple of times the, in the first stock, getting back on stage. But uh, after that, you know, Mew Squared kind of got a feel. Better idea of when Zane was trying to slip on. So he started baiting out the air dodge a little bit better, using the, the air to get those guaranteed kills off stage. And that's really the scary part of forward air. It, it, its power isn't actually like too ridiculously high, but it's whenever he hits you with it off stage. There's just so little distance between where you currently are in the blast zone. It will be killing very, very early. Oh yeah, de definitely on on a stage like Smashville as well. Very, very think scary thing to consider. Again, Zane the Pure keeping up with Mew Squared, but Mew Squared, he may not have uh, all that much percent, but he's been able to maintain stage control for the most part. But Zane, huge up smash coming out. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe as far as damage goes. Actually, this time taking the lead as he's control of center here, hoping to close out the stock. He has plenty of percent to work with, and now it's a matter of just making the right decisions. Mew Squared. Oh, not the trade that he was looking for. Zane coming out on top there. I believe that was a forward air that had traded there. He's going to let Zane 
have this one stock lead. And against someone with so much Mewtwo experience, that is, sorry, against uh, so much uh, Link experience, that's absolutely massive. Absolutely, yeah. The, you know, the Twins definitely players that like, they, they grind a lot, they play a lot together. Uh, B-squared, you know, traditionally does. Yeah, that's that's when you should not uh, have to project all of your own. Can, can Link still do the same thing with the shield in this game, where he just like crouches? Yes, yes he, can. he can actually block projectiles with his shield. So that is one answer that he could potentially have to the Mewtwo Shadow Ball, is actually just crouching or just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, I, I would have definitely liked to see that from Zane instead. But uh, you know, all of a sudden, his lead blown, that control the stage. It was gone temporarily as well, but now we're here back in neutral, but whoa! He actually used the bomb to yeah. extend the combo! That was really cool stuff coming out from U squared. Crazy with the up smash though, Zane can get a little bit of, little bit of stage breath because of it. Of the down smash. Zane's going for a lot of these dash attacks and they just really aren't sticking. I feel like it might be a bit too committal of a move uh, in this matchup. Okay. Yeah, okay. doesn't actually have a hitbox on the return of that boomerang, so unfortunately it just pushes them off stage. But still not a good position to be against if he gets me to, especially at these percents. And pretty scary for Zane. Uh, Link is a, a bit on the heavier side, right? So yeah. uh, he should be able, I don't know. No, he won't. Never mind. Just no, kidding. No, <laughs> not at those percent. I thought that maybe. Those matches pretty hard. I think maybe he would have been able to survive. Maybe like an up throw, possibly. Up throw probably would have survived. Yeah. But yeah. But but the up smash. No way. No way. No that was way. a wrap.